Thank you to our sponsor for curating this collection. Let's score art based on 14 qualities. Use our 9-point scale to score how clear and smart each quality is used. Reply 1, 2, or 3 for low quality. Use 4, 5, or 6 for OK quality. And 7, 8, or 9 for high quality. So now, let's score this art. Welcome back. Let's take a look at this art score. We're going to look at this painting by Sanford Gifford. Interesting name. First name, last name ends with the Ford. F-O-R-D. It's called A Coming Storm. And since it's the first day of fall, I thought, hey, let's take a look at this painting and score it. It's called a coming storm, and where I live in the United States, in Pennsylvania, we see the changing of the seasons. It's raining today. I don't know if you're going to be able to hear that through my microphone, but this painting is how I feel right now. We look at the painting, and we see that there's a clear subject. We see that there's a story, a relationship between the landscape, that mountain, that rock that's jetting out of the out of the earth, and this coming storm. And the landscape, you can tell, is embracing itself for the coming storm. Storm. We see a good use of medium. So I'm going to score it a seven because I think he could push it more. He could explore his medium better, but he does have a good control over it. Same thing with color. Color is not loud. It's not overly saturated. It's toned down. So that takes control. That takes intelligence. And at the same time, I feel he could have pushed it a little bit more. The values work well, the lights, the darks, but again, he knows what he's doing, but he's not pushing it. His style, and so I look at this painting, at first I thought it was a Turner painting, without the the soul and the aggression of a Turner. Now his structure of the painting is really well. When I analyze the geometry of the painting, you can tell he took time to craft and compose it out. But movement is the key to this image. The movement is probably what inspired Samford to actually get to the easel, to get to the studio, and produced his painting. And so there's this gorgeous sense of movement through this gorgeous arabesque that rolls through the, the landscape and up the hills and then up through the clouds and then back down the landscape and it spirals back through. Very much like the Turner paintings that we're used to see. But he actually did a really, really good job at that. The shapes work well. There's a clear distinction. A foreground to background relationships. The soul, I'll give it a seven. Yes, there's soul in here. You can really feel the landscape getting ready for the impact of this, this big storm that's coming through. But I only give it a seven because, again, he could have pushed it more. Now, one thing I do like in the soul is that when you allow your eye to move across the lake... The lake is calm. It's like glass. It's very, very calm. And then there's a change of charge as your eye moves up. Then all of a sudden you feel this rollingness above the water. And so that's actually quite impressive. I like that he saw that, he felt it, and he designed it. Now one of the keys for him to convey that feeling is the pattern. Now if you look at the rock and you see that highlight on the rock and it comes down and it touches the highlight on the, ro the small rock, you look at the trees of the hill in front of it, you can see this curve, this pattern that's moving and then moving us through the image. And so he's using this beautiful curve and he's repeating and repetition is breath. It gives life to the art. And so I give him an eight for his pattern use. Between the movement and the pattern, he's done an incredible job at conveying his story. Harmony, I actually give him a nine because as my eye rolls around the edge of the painting and comes into it, there's not one thing in this image that's throwing me off the edge, that's locking me up. And so his level of sensitivity around that area is perfect. Now, I don't see a signature in here. There might be one in the lower left-hand corner. I try to zoom in. I couldn't find it, and so therefore, I'm not going to score it. That means instead of having 126 points to score this image, we're going to only do it on a scale of 117, and I give him a 99. Now, what's interesting about his score? If we look at the chart and we break it down to head, heart, and hand. You can see he knows what he's doing. That's the head part, right? But it's not really done at a high level. It's done on average around a 7, not an 8 or a 9. And then when we get to the heart, you can see that the heart part of him is actually higher. And so that tells me when he approached this specific painting, he was more trying to capture that movement, that energy of, of the image, while leaning on his knowledge of how to 
compose and construct a painting, but that's not where his intensity was. That wasn't where his focus was. And you can clearly see that questions that are more related to the heart yielded a higher score than the questions that were related to the intellect or the head part of the artwork. So I find that very interesting, very cool. It's a nice painting. First day of fall, raining outside. We're getting ready to embrace the changing of the seasons. I like the fall. It's my favorite time of year. You know, as, a, as an artist, as a creative, as an aesthetician, someone who likes aesthetics. I like the fall because we get to dress up a little bit. We get to express ourselves through our clothes. I'm a scarf guy, so I always like wearing scarves in the fall. Kind of looking forward to this time of year. So enjoy your fall. Special thanks to our Companions of Art and Culture. Thank you for sponsoring this video and helping us nourish many more souls with art. Subscribe to the channel, like this video, and click the notification bell so you don't miss out on our newest video. Try art scoring another painting by clicking the video on top. For details on becoming a sponsor, watch the bottom video. Always remember, you count to art. And on that, we all say, Boom Bella.